And uh, you may remember this bat, it, at bat against Marvin Freeman of the Phillies. Uh, and here's John Gibbons okay. at the plate. Gibby <laughs> is going to give this ball a ride. Let's watch it, shall we? Well hit left field. Read us back. This ball might be out of here. And in. 9-3 New York. Yeah. Yes, sir. John Gibbons. Uh, first big hey, league home. What was that like, Jimmy? It was the only one I hit up there. <laughs> I better remember it, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what well, what an opportunity! What a, what a great great uh, great feeling! Like it's Albert Albert Pujols. I, bet, I bet Albert Pujols. He probably there's a few of his that he's forgotten. Not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out of the seven hundred plus, he might have forgotten one or two. But yeah, exactly. uh, you're not forgetting that one. No, uh, forgetting tell us that about one. that. Not eighty six. Tell us about that eighty six team though. What what sticks out for you the most about? Uh, the, the the Mets in '86. Well, you know what, Joe? They were. Uh, I mean, it was a unique bunch. There's no question about that. You've heard, you know, everybody's heard the stories, and uh, you call them the wild bunch. You call them whatever. I mean, and, and, it's, and it's all true. But I, it is something. These guys showed up every day to play in the win. You know, they didn't get along all the time. There was a lot of fight, a lot of infighting, uh, which I think surprises some people. They think, well, how can you be successful? But you know what? If if the if the players are focused on winning and they whether they even like each other or not, when 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 it comes time to start that game, they they pull together. You know, a lot of good things can happen, and that's that's kind of what that team was. And you know, it was in the, in the mid '80s, and New York was a crazy place, so that, that that group kind of fit in perfectly with the city, you know. And uh, and you know, he was one of the greatest teams ever. And of course, the uh, the Red Sox had the team on the on the uh, had, had a chance to put it away, but they couldn't do it. You know, it was almost the baseball gods interfered, you know, with the Bill Buckner play and all Bill Buckner, because, yeah. Yeah, because it was clearly – the Mets were, in 86 were clearly the best team. There's no doubt about that. And that was back before the wild cards and all that stuff. So, you know, uh, the game was a little bit different. But, you know, that team ran away with it pretty good. 